So on today's DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm going to show you how you could easily upscale a 1080p video up to 4K. So let's go ahead and see how to do this in DaVinci Resolve. Welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On this channel, you'll learn how to be creative and I'll teach you the tools you need to create. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button to help the channel create more content like this. And so having 4K videos is something that I think is ideal for the majority of creators out there, especially since more and more people now have 4K televisions. And then later on, we're going to have 8K televisions. And so whenever you do have a 4K video and you upload that to YouTube, well, under the settings or gear icon, you see an option for quality and you can go up to 4K. Now, even though I definitely do like the overall look and quality that you get out of 4K, the problem is doing 4k videos takes a lot it takes up a lot of space on your memory cards especially on your computer and then it also takes a lot of processing power to not only edit 4k but also to render 4k as well so it's definitely a large investment in many different areas and so today i'm going to be showing you a few ways that you could actually get 4k from 1080p videos and even though it's not going to be as good as true 4k it's going to be really really good for the vast majority of creators out there without having to go through all the things that you would normally need to actually do true 4k all right so let's go ahead and start off with the easiest way to upscale your 1080p video to 4k and all you have to do is go here to your deliver page and then on your export video go down here to resolution choose the drop down and now choose a higher resolution in this case we're going to be choosing 3840 by 2160 ultra hd which is 4k so once you've chosen that and you've named your file go ahead and choose add to render queue and what's going to happen is you will get this warning it's going to say add higher resolution renders so it's going to say the selected render resolution is higher then the timeline resolution so our timeline resolution was 1080p and so in this case it says render images will be upscaled from timeline resolution to selected resolution this may result in reduced image quality and so obviously we're okay with that we go to add and then i already have an existing file so i'm going to cancel that but once you have that you add it to your render queue just go ahead and render all and now you have your upscaled 4k video and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how that looks like and so here in my desktop, I actually have multiple videos. I've already exported this. So here is the first one where I did a 1080p to 4K export. So let me open up the 1080p original video. And here it is, this is 1080p. And so if I go here to tools and look at codec information, this is the original 1920 by 1080 video. And you might wanna look on this on a larger screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, maximize this. Let me see if I could maximize it. So this is maximized. This is my original 1080p video. And it looks fine. You know, it doesn't look bad at all, even when you, you know, blow it up. But let's go ahead and take a look at the 4K upscaled version. So we'll open this up. And in this case, it looks good as well. Now, obviously, the thing that you are going to notice is that since it wasn't originally a 4K video, and it is basically blowing it up to 4K to fit those pixels, you won't get the same level of sharpness and clarity that you would with a original 4K video. But later on in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a way that you could kind of improve that and it'll look pretty good overall. But as you can see here, even when you upscale it to 4K, I still think it looks really good from a 1080p video. And unless you were watching it on a really large screen, you really will not be able to tell the difference whenever you're watching this on a mobile device. And even when I'm watching on a larger screen, it's still hard for me to tell that this is an upscaled 1080p to 4K video. Now, obviously, if you really scale things in and you uh, look at things real closely, then you can tell. But just by looking at it, uh, opening up my computer, I couldn't really tell right away. And that goes to show you that the upscaling is pretty good uh, just by choosing a higher resolution render. And so the second way to upscale your images from 1080p to 4K is also a very super simple process. All you have to do is go up here to file and then project settings. And here the default time resolution is 1080. And all I have to do is go here to this drop down and choose a 4K resolution. In this case, 3840 by 2160. 
and then save. And now whenever you go to deliver, you'll notice that the export video resolution already matches your new 4K resolution timeline. And so when you go to add to render queue, you won't get that warning because the project timeline settings is already 4K. So it matches your export video settings, which it sets automatically based upon your project timeline. And so now that you see how to do this, you can render it all. And we're now gonna go ahead and take a look at the 4K video using a 4K project timeline for a 1080p video. And so here we have our video that is taken from a 1080p video using a 4K project timeline. And if I open this up, I can't really tell the difference uh, from having a 4K project timeline or from having a 1080p timeline and then exporting to 4K. So as you can see here, this is a 4K video. And so at least for me, uh, using either method, whether you have a 1080p project timeline and then export to 4K, or if you change the project timeline settings to 4K, I don't really see a difference. So in either case, you're still going to get a 4K upscaled video. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. And so the final way that you could actually upscale a video is something that DaVinci Resolve already has built in. However, this is only available in the paid version. And so if you actually choose the clip, right click on your mouse and go to clip attributes, you see this thing called super scale. So in this case, you could actually scale this up to different resolutions. So in this case, we'll go four times. So 1080p to 4K and your sharpness, you could adjust it low, medium or high. And so I'm going to leave it a medium and noise reduction, low, medium and high. So whenever you are upscaling it, it is basically expanding your original 1080p to fit all these pixels. So in that case, you could definitely see noise and stuff. So uh, this is another option that you have. And if you do decide you want to use the super scale option, and if you choose the free version of DaVinci Resolve, you are going to see like a watermark, like as you could see right here. So this is only available for the paid version. And from what I've seen in other YouTube videos, this super scale option works really well. And so that is the final way in which you could upscale a video. But now I'm gonna show you a way that you could actually sharpen your 1080p videos whenever you upscale it to 4K. Okay, so one of the issues that you will definitely see whenever you are upscaling this to 4K is the fact that your images are not gonna be as sharp. And this makes sense because you are upscaling something at a lower resolution up to a higher resolution. And so in that case, you do have a way that you could actually sharpen your 1080p video to make it a lot sharper and clearer whenever you have it in 4K. And the way you do that is to go here to your color page or color tab. And in this case, we're gonna be using the sharpening feature, okay? So I'm gonna show you a real quick and easy way to do it because when it comes to sharpening, you could definitely get really advanced. And so here we have our node, which is our original video. I'm gonna go ahead and add a node. So on this second node, you're gonna come down here and there is an option for sharpen and blur. And there's a drop down here as well. So here it normally defaults to blur. So I chose sharpen. So in this case, you could actually sharpen the image. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase this. So hopefully you could see that. You might have to look at this on a larger screen. And so here you can adjust these values. So the values that I'm gonna adjust is radius. So I'm gonna lower this. And you might need to play around with this, uh, but from what I understand, most people, uh, you don't wanna go below 45 because the more you sharpen things artificially, uh, the more it's gonna add artifacts and noise, okay? So, and another way that you could actually adjust this is to go here to your coring softness and level. So you definitely wanna play around with this. So in this case, it's trying to minimize the amount of artifacting and noise that you get whenever you do artificially sharpen this. So once you've done that, you just go ahead and render your video and I'm gonna show you how the sharpened video looks like. And so now let's take a look at our sharpened video. Go ahead and open it up. And this is in the 4K resolution. And I'll go ahead and expand this. Now you definitely want to look at this on a larger monitor, but if I actually look at the image now, it is sharper. Okay, and I'll go through different parts of the video and it is sharper overall, but if you actually scale in a lot further, you can tell that there's definitely gonna be noise and artifact. So that's why whenever you are using the sharpening feature, 
you might want to spend more time on that so that you can minimize that but if you were watching this on a mobile device or even on a laptop i don't think that you'll be able to tell all you'll be able to see is this is in 4k and it is sharper so that is one way that you could actually enhance your upscaled images there's probably many other ways to do it but these are like the simplest and easiest ways that i found to do it so that is it for today's video on how you could actually upscale your 1080p video to 4k in davinci resolve so if you actually had any thoughts on this or any other ways in which you do this be sure to leave that in the comments area below and if you did want to see more of my davinci resolve tutorials and tips i do have an entire playlist i'll leave that in the description area as well so as always if you did get value out of these videos be sure to share like and subscribe and if you're a creative geek like me and you want to get exclusive access to more content that I don't put out here publicly on my YouTube channel, then join my Go Content Creators Group, where you're going to get content like this and more for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check on the page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group.